G'day guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be building a brand new shark fin after this jump here that we built in the last video. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy. Before we get any further into the video, I just wanted to say that originally I was going to build a shark fin, but later on you'll see why I decided to change it into a roller. So in the last video, we made this little racer jump here. Just a little small jump for speed, keeping speed afterwards. And after this jump, today we're going to build a shark fin jump just here. So let's get into it. Alright, there we go. We've just done some clearing for where I want the trail to go. It's going to be a shark fin that way. And I've kind of realised some of these plants here are a bit overgrown. So we're going to have to cut them out and push some of this grass back a bit. So let's start doing that. There we go. I know that time lapse might have seemed a bit violent, but have a look at this. So they, on these trees here, there's these vines which like cling to the tree and kill it. And I've just cut this whole branch off and it's just hanging up by the vines that were like overtaking it. So yeah, if that seemed very violent, I was just getting rid of mostly, mostly the vines. Any other native plants, I'm just giving them a trim so they're out of the way. But yeah, some of these vines are massive. Have a look how thick this is. This is some of the vine that was so hard to get out of the ground. It's so thick. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. All right, back to the time lapse. All right, there we go. We got rid of all those vines. So now it's a lot clearer, big pile over there. So now let's get on to actually making the jump. There we go, after a bit of digging, lips starting to take shape. So now what I'm gonna do, instead of doing this little bomb hole, I'm gonna make the bomb hole all the way from this landing down. So this whole section's a bomb hole, so I can use all this dirt and it'll make the lip way bigger. So yeah, it should be sick, so let's keep digging. Alright, there we go. So now we've basically fully dug out this bomb hole and mostly smoothed it out. We've got the lip almost fully built, probably nearly the perfect size for what I want it. Looking, the shape's looking all right as well. So now we're gonna give all of this a water, let it soak in, then we'll come back, put some good dirt on it, maybe put some more of this dirt on it if it's not the right size, and then we'll start on the landing. You.
Hey guys, it's the next day. Just come to check it and I've given it another water. So now we're gonna shape it up and compact it. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. This thing's super solid now, so now we're gonna give it a test, see where we land and then get onto the landing. So let's give it a test. There we go, so I just test rode this lip. Feels great, but as soon as I rode up, it's all cracked. It's very dry. So we're gonna add a bit more of that good dirt and like water it and recompact it and stuff, then we'll get onto the landing. Hey guys, it's the next day again, so let's get back to digging. There we go, we've just made the landing. That's a pretty good amount of dirt, I reckon. So now we're gonna give it a water and start adding some of the good dirt. There we go, we've put all the good dirt on, so now it's time to compact and shape it up. Alright, we've just waited a while, landing's a bit harder now, so now we're going to give it a test ride. Alright, that was not great, but I've just fixed the landing up, so let's try it again. Alright, that was definitely better than the first attempt, but it still wasn't great, so we're going to keep sending it. Alrighty guys, it's been a couple days. I've been thinking about what to do with this jump here because it does not work. And I've just got some fresh dirt delivered. So I've decided I'm gonna turn this jump into a cambered roller. Alright, it's the next day, just giving this another water, so now let's compact it. Hey guys, it's been another few days. The roller's been sitting, we've had lots of rain and it's very solid now. And unfortunately, I don't have my bike to test it, but we've got Blake here and he's gonna give it a test run. We got the good angles. Yeah. Roller is good. 
<laughs> All right, guys, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Do it again. No.